I tell you what, they prove that they're back in the race. Um, I don't like crowning anybody in October, especially <laughs> in football. That's about <laughs> baseball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could crown. Hey, yeah. In baseball, you crown them, right? Yeah. Football, you don't. Mm -hmm. They still have another half, e half the year to play. Now, I, I think what we did see, though, that especially early in the game, that New England's defense frustrated Mahomes. Mm -hmm. Sitting in the pocket, got the pick by the linebacker. I mean, they did some things to him in the first half. Got mm -hmm. into the red zone. They bowled up. Didn't let him get into the end zone. Mm -hmm. Made him kick field goals. And then Tom Brady did what he always does especially early in the game. Goes down long marches, kept the ball, kept that dynamic offense and that young quarterback on the sideline. Mm -hmm. And they were just taking dink and dunks. The, the running game was working for mm -hmm. New England. So everything was working on, the, on their benefits, on their behalf. And their defense played a lot better early than they did later in the game. So I, I just think you're, you're excited. You're always excited because you got, you got Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. You're always excited about that. But... I, I think you got to just pump the brakes a little bit. It's still a long season. I think the one thing I do know, when Bill Belichick plays a team like that, he's going to take away the number one choice. And what they did with Kelsey is what everybody should be doing with those big tight ends. Banging them. Banging them. Mm -hmm. You bang them at the line, you don't let them get going, and you give them to the safety or corner on the back end. Mm. And that's what they did. They frustrated him the whole game. Now, Tyreek Hill got... Talk going late, yeah. which I don't understand, you know, how a safety can be sitting there and he throws the ball down the middle of the field and they're in a single high defense and he does nothing. Yeah. He just sits there and watches him catch the ball and run away from him. I think they're, they're afraid of him. Like, the, like, like you feel like you have to stay down, stay down, get I mean, he ready. Is, he is yeah. fast. He, yeah. he runs a 4-2. But he only runs a 4-2 when you let him run a 4-2. <laughs> so if you don't get your hands on him, well, they that's do, track they, speed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's eight mans yeah. in a lane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah. I, I don't get that. The, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, they didn't show they're the best because all they've done is that they they held serve at home. Um, I believe the outcome would be different if they were to if they had they played in Kansas City. I believe the outcome would be different. I believe the Chargers are getting back in this thing. They're gonna be the deal with. They are. And once they get Bosa back. Because right now they don't they, they got the Baker yesterday better than they had gotten to any quarterback in the previous five games. But when they get Bosa back, so mm -hmm. now you just can't slide the protection to Melvin Ingram because Bosa is a monster. He's a defensive yeah. player of the year candidate every time he steps onto the football field. Um, but when you look at, and I agree with you, Woody, what they did earlier is that, and I say Kansas City, you dodged the bullet last week because you're playing the Jags. And they don't have the potential to score points like New England. Now, when you get down in the red zone against New England, you better not kick field goals because Tom Brady, when he get in your red zone, mm -hmm. he's scoring touchdowns. And you better not turn it over mm -hmm. because Tom Brady is not going to turn it back over to you like Blake Bortles, mm -hmm. that garbage player, what he is. Mm -hmm. But anyway, no, <laughs> Skip Bayless, I do not believe. The, the, the Patriots are always going to be there. As long as Coach mm -hmm. Belichick, as long as Tom Brady is there, they're, gonna always, they're never going to be out of it. But this is the first year you can honestly say they're not head and shoulders above everyone else. Mm. Pittsburgh might have a say. Mm. Now, you know this. Mm. If Baltimore Ravens got to go to New England, they, got a shot. they do not fear New England whatsoever. They got yeah, legacy. <laughs> they <laughs> so got history on they, they will go in there. They'll battle them. Well, but Suggs isn't afraid, I can tell you that. So this is the first mm. time This is the first time in a long time I think we can honestly say New England is not head and shoulders above everybody. It's New England, and then there's everybody else. No, I think Kansas City, New England, the Chargers are all right there. Mm. Mm. So... I learned this a long time ago, and I'm going to stand by it. I'm not going to bet against Tom Brady. At 41, he's playing as great as he ever played. I'm going to say it again. He threw for 182 yards in the fourth quarter last night and controlled the football 11 minutes to four because the more that kid had the football, the more they were going to score. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because once he got his two crazy, wild interceptions out of his head, then he, he's not bothered by anything. Once he got locked in, once he figured out what they were trying to do to trick him, he started to shred them. They scored 31 in the second half at Foxborough. That's a lot of points. Yeah. And I'm going to yeah. say it again. What's going to have to happen from this point over uh, forward is that Tom Brady is going to have to overcome Bill Belichick's defense because it's not very good. 
It's below average at best. And I'm going to remind you, it got torched at Jacksonville by Blake Bortles. It got torched in Detroit by Matthew Stafford. And it got torched again last night by Andy Reid's offense with all those weapons. And again, it was pretty predictable that they were going to score a bunch of points. But it took Tom Brady scoring 43 to overcome 40 that they allowed 31 in the second mm -hmm. half. So now, overall for the year. Bill Belichick's defense is, has allowed the 18th most points in the NFL. That's tied with the Vikings, who have also not been. They've been a big disappointment, mm, yes, too. Yes. But 18th. And meanwhile, very quietly, Brady's offense has risen to fourth in scoring mm. points. Well, that's pretty good because it's behind just the Saints and the Chiefs and the Rams. I mean, so they're right, they're right, right. up there with those. Right. They can score. And right. now that he's got... Obviously, Edelman back, and he's trying to force feed Josh Gordon. I still, I don't think they're on the same page, but you figure they'll get more and more of a wavelength. Well, he's got enough weapons that he can score a bunch of points. And what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to win time of possession. They won last night 36 to 24. And that was huge in that game because if it's not like that, they're going to lose. Yeah. Because the more that kid had the ball, I mean, you look at the, the plays. So, so Tom Brady in... They, they, scored, they had the ball for 36 minutes and scored 43 points, and the, the kid only had it for 24 minutes and scored 40 points. Yeah. Well, what's that tell you about the defense? You're just getting lit up, man. Well, well when play. you go one play for 77 seven right. seconds, 75 yards. I know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you play a guy like that, you know he likes taking shots. Yes. So your game plan, you got to tell your DBs, you have to stay on top. You have to stay on, and you have to keep him in the pocket, which they did in the first half. Right. They kept him controlled in the pocket, right. meaning inside the tackles. Didn't let him get comfortable because he's, I mean, he's good inside the pocket, too. I mean, the kid is a really good player. Yeah. Mm. But he's he's really in his comfort zone when he steps out of that tackle. Either yeah. way, rolling left or right. And it doesn't matter. And he's looking down the field, field. to take shots down yeah. the field. Right. And if he sees one person out of position, one DB out of position, he's throwing that ball to his guys. Mm -hmm. So they did a really good job in that first half. In the second half, they seemed like they just... They just loosened up a little mm. bit. You know, the now, only he got success, out that pocket and made plays. The success I saw is when they went after him and yeah. they got him thrown off his back foot because right. yeah. he'll just chuck it up, yeah. man. And right? He, when he wasn't able Especially to get, at the end. And he had, a, he had an opportunity to get Tyreek Hill again, and they put pressure on him. And he did. wasn't able to drive the they ball. couldn't get it down. Coach down. Belichick played more zero coverage than, Rod, than I think I've ever seen him play. It's been... It's been quite a long time the last time I've seen a lot of zero coverage from Belichick. Mm -hmm. It's very rare. But the one thing I think they realize is that if you put pressure on him, right. it's hard to throw off that front foot. Right. It's hard to, to, to it bring the, pre the, the, the weight you know to that, the front foot. Because you know that helmet coming to your chin. Because mm -hmm. that last play, he was on his back foot. Yes, I mean, he, he threw that thing on his back foot. and he Now, Tyreek Hill had him beat. Right. Had the DB beat. Yeah, oh, yeah. He yeah. was behind him. Yeah. He did. The ball was underthrown. And huh. then I mean, the DB at least had a chance. And the third down conversion, they were only 40%. The Patriots were like 50, you know, 67% mm -hmm. on third. Yeah. And that's the difference in the ball game. Tom Brady stays well, they, on the they field. They didn't punt. Right. Tom yeah. Brady stays on the field, yeah. get an extra three yeah. three cracks at you, get the ball in the end zone. And you know what? Sony Michelle is starting to figure it out. I told I, you. I know you did. <laughs> you said it. You said it. But, but he, went, he went 25 times last night for 106 yards, mm -hmm. didn't catch a ball because no. they let James the other White. little guy take yeah. care of that, right? And, he, and James White mm -hmm. runs the ball between the tackles better than you think he, he would for somebody his size. Mm -hmm. But Sony Michelle, Skip, He's a guy that needs to be, he needs to have lanes. And that's how they ran him at Georgia. Mm. And so when they're in that three by one and he can see lanes, mm -hmm. oh, you got your hands full of dealing yep. with him now. So the Patriots last night, they ran it three more times than they threw it, which is rare in this day and age. Because uh -huh. yeah, Kansas City threw it 19 more times than it <laughs> ran it. Because that's what they did. And they were getting, right. think about it, Ty, uh, uh, Hunt was getting eight yards a clip. But when you're down by 17 points, it's hard for you to run the ball, Skip, because you want to get back into the ball game, and you know you, you know you have these weapons. You have a Hill, you have a Kelsey, you have a Watkins, and then you got Hunt out of the backfield. So you you like you get away from running it. They could just run the ball because they still was Hunt was still getting five, he six, was. eight yards a clip. He was. Mm. I, I think the biggest thing when you look at the turning point in that game was Kansas City marching down for halftime. The young fellas trying to make a play. It was a big... They a had big him mistake. doubled the whole time. Wait, yes. Mm -hmm. And he kept looking at Kelsey, kept looking at Kelsey. He rolls out of the pocket, and he gives him a shot anyway with two guys sitting right there. Right. And he, he's going to learn that, you know what? We get three points. We get the ball back. Right. We get the ball back first in the second half. So now we have a better opportunity. So that's three points off the board, and mm. they get the ball back. And what did they do the first time they got the ball back? They so went down and scored. scored. Mm. That's the thing. That, 
He's a young guy. You learn. Mm -hmm. Coach, if you look at the Patriots, what the Patriots normally do, Skip, they always, they like to get the ball. They like to defer. They always like to go down and score right before the half, knowing they're going to get the ball coming out of the half. Mm -hmm. So now, not only will they get three to seven, now they say, you know what? Now we finna drive the nail in the coffin. Mm -hmm. Now we finna go up 10. We finna go up 14 to really put you in harm's way. But he'll learn that, that ar the arm he has and the weapons, because Tyreek Hill, he outrun, he I can mean, outrun coverage. Their weapons is Tyreek Hill, Kelsey, and Hunt. Hunt. That's yeah. their three weapons. Yes. Take away one of them. The other guy, that track speed, that dude is really <laughs> fast. <laughs> I tell you, I'm, I tell you, I'm glad I've never played against somebody <laughs> that fast, because he can run. I've never seen anybody, and Skip and I was talking about the first one. I've never seen anyone catch the ball, because the ball was thrown behind him. His feet hit the ground, and he outruns the angle. I'm like, dude, did you? But like but, Rod said, Deron Harmon's just watching. He's just like, he you, can't. Oh, he's scared. Yeah. Oh, but you don't scared. but unless you like been around people that can run that fast, yeah. you don't really <laughs> TV don't get don't do it justice. Yeah. Yeah. How so, fast this kid is. Bottom line, the New England advantage that still plays in the AFC East, and I'm pretty sure it can sweep the East. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure. It'll have a hard game at the Jets and maybe a hard, hard game, game at the Dolphins. But mm -hmm. but other than that, I just think they can sweep. And that'll put them a right. leg up on something. Did you see Buffalo yesterday? Did you see uh, Nathan Peterman? Nathan yeah. Peterman. Hi, is Nathan Peterman oh, still in the lead? Missed uh, that one. Oh, Nathan. He well, may not be terrible. today. Yeah, yeah, he's still in. Well, you know, well. As of right that now. Dude, mm. woo, that dude, that's a great had, way to switch. He had one good throw. Mm -hmm. throw he did. He, it was a good yeah, one. one. It, it no, was. It was, it was yeah. a double move. Mm -hmm. Good little throw on the mm -hmm. right sideline. Mm -hmm. Other than that, mm -hmm. Mm. I don't know how you stay in the lead. Mm. We'll give them the. How about let's talk about the Cowboys? Oh, oh really? my goodness! Oh, really? I thought I was gonna oh, tee up the story. Wait, no, just he's just so happy. He's, he's, happy. He's, he's, he's so happy. All right, so excited. Skip wants the Cowboys. We'll talk about their offense. Did they fix their problems? Yes.